What's good, man? It's your boy, Bo Kane Tommy, and you're now tuned in to the official Boss Moves Podcast. You know what I'm saying? And tonight, we got a 10-minute talk. You feel me? We got a 10-minute talk. So, we're going to get straight to it. Um, So, the topic for tonight is education over entertainment. Now, I'm going to be completely honest with y'all. I'm going to be straight up with you. This ain't for everybody. This right here is for people that's trying to make boss moves daily. You know what I'm saying? Only. Boss moves only. If you ain't trying to make boss moves only, this ain't for you. You know what I'm saying? I just needed to get that out there because, you know, tonight we're going to be talking about that mindset. The mindset you got to have to be able to make boss moves on a daily basis. And that's why I chose, that's why I chose education over entertainment but because it's something that I had to learn. You know, everything you watch, everything you listen to, everything you see on a daily basis, it determines, you know, what you're going to be, who you're going to be, and what type of life you're going to live. You know what I'm saying? And it's a lot of programming going on. I'm not going to get too deep into that tonight, but it's a lot of programming going on and it's not for the right things. When we talk about social media, it's like not even... You don't even got to follow these pages, but you're going to see some negativity on social media. You're going to see, you know, suggested from the blogs of what's going on, what's going on with Meg Thee Stallion and Tory Lanez, what's going on with YSL, Young Thug, and Gunner Case, and all of that. Like, all of that negative information is not conducive to your life. It has nothing to do with helping you become the best version of yourself. It has nothing to do with, you know, helping you reach your goals, reach your dreams and your destiny. It, it, it's nothing but a distraction. You know what I'm saying? So within the past two years, I had to learn to really choose education over entertainment. And it even goes to music. Like, I love music. Don't get me wrong. Y'all could probably search my name up and find some of my old songs. You know what I'm saying? I love music, but I had to realize, like, the things that you listening to on a daily basis is going to determine what type of mood you're going to have. You know what I'm saying? Like, I already know, like, you know, you put on some old songs from the past, it's going to bring back old memories and old feelings. You know what I'm saying? And it's like all of these frequencies, all of this energy that we're encountering determines how we're going to feel. It's going to determine what type of mood you're going to be in. You know what I'm saying? What type of energy you're going to have. And, you know, when you're trying to make boss moves, man, you got to be best version. You got to be working every single day to become the best version of yourself. So how do you do that? How do you choose education over entertainment? Well, for me, I got into personal development. I had to realize, and this is something that I learned from, you know, high level successful people, you know, six and seven figure earners that's younger than me. I'm 25 years old. I'm learning from these people. And it's like, the only difference between us and that million dollar version of ourselves, the only thing in between, like I want y'all to go in the mirror, look in the mirror and imagine the six figure, the seven figure, the eight figure version of yourself. What do they look like? You know what I'm saying? Start asking yourself these type of questions. What do they look like? Um, You know, what type of clothes are they wearing? What type of food are they eating? What type of music you will be listening to? You know what I'm saying? What type of shows or things you would allow yourself to watch and spend time and, you know, digest, you know what I'm saying? And download, you got to think about that. So I started listening to more motivational speakers. I started listening to podcasts and like on the real, like it wasn't even just education. Like it got to the point to where it was really helping me get in better moods because it's like, I love NBA young boy to death. You ask me, I say NBA young boy, the hottest out right now. You know what I'm saying? Hottest out. He got songs for all type of moods. You feel me? And it's just a vibe. Like, I love his music. But I'm not trying to listen to somebody. I don't, I'm not trying to listen to, to shooting and killing and violence. Like, I, like, bro, I'm not trying to download that shit every single day. Like, I'm not. Like, yeah, I might listen to it every once in a while. But I'm not trying to listen to that continually on a daily basis. Like, it just don't make sense. It's not helping me become the best version of myself. It's not helping me get closer 
to that version that I need to be. It's not helping me get closer to that seven figure version of Demarcus. You know what I'm saying? And you got to start thinking of it like that for yourself. Like, you know, like, like I said, the only thing that's separating us from that six and seven figure version of ourselves is time and development. Time and development. How much time does it take for you to develop into the person that you that, that you need to be to obtain that level, to obtain that level of success, whatever success looks like to you, whether that's being the best person at your job, whether that's being the, you know, the best father, the best husband, the best boyfriend, the best girlfriend, the best wife, the best sister, the best brother, you know, whatever it takes for you to become that version of yourself, you got to look in the mirror and be able to accept the fact that if you're not there right now, then what's, what's the problem? What's holding you back? This is stuff that I had to ask myself. And it's like, okay, it's everything that I've been doing in the past from, from the day I was, you know, the day I started making my own decisions to where I am now, all the decisions that I made got me to where I'm at. Am I want to? Am I where I want to be? No. You know what I'm saying? Are you where you want to be? That's what you got to ask yourself, and you got to be honest with yourself. Like, if not, then maybe you need to change some things around. Maybe you need to listen to, you know, some more positive stuff. So, what's some positive stuff? I like to listen to the Secret to Success podcast. I've been listening to the Secret to Success podcast like on a daily basis for about a year. You know what I'm saying? Eric Thomas. I listen to, you know, and shout out to them, bro. They changed, that literally changed my life. Eric Thomas, CJ, Jamal, King, you know what I'm saying? And Carl literally changed my life. Les Brown, Tony Robbins, you know what I'm saying? Um, Jim Rohn, you know, like it really opened up my mindset to learn like, dang, this is what it takes to, you know, become a better person. Like just learning, like whatever field you in, whatever industry you in, whatever the success look like in that industry, you need to figure out what those people doing. You need to figure out what, what they listening to, what, what type of food they eat. And you know what I'm saying? I'm not saying copy them and duplicate them, but learn from it because everything you've been doing up to this point is the reason why you at where you at. You know what I'm saying? If you tired of working where you working, something got to change. You might need to stay in the house more and lock in, study, read a book. You know what I'm saying? What's some good books? Think and Grow Rich, Rich Dad, Poor Dad. Rich Dad, Poor Dad was like the first book that I opened myself up to on this journey and that really changed my mindset. So that's one of the you know top things I, I would um you know recommend. Rich Dad, Poor Dad by Robert Kiyosaki. Think and Grow Rich by Napoleon Hill. You know what I'm saying? Even this book right here, Hustle Harder, Hustle Smarter by 50 Cent. You know what I'm saying? Like I got my Think and Grow Rich book right here. These are two books that I finished this year. You know what I'm saying? Like, you got to start filling your mind up. And I I say we. We got to fill, fill our minds up with positive, productive, producive information. I don't even know if that's a word, producive. But you got to be, you know, producing. You want to listen to stuff that's going to make you want to strive to be better. You don't want to listen to stuff that's going to get you in your feelings, make you not want to do shit make you sad and want to just stay in bed. Like, no, you want to listen to stuff that's going to help you get up out of bed, get your shit going. You know what I'm saying? Get to the bag, get to whatever success looks like to you. You know what I'm saying? So start thinking about that. Start finding different stuff. You know what I'm saying? I ain't saying you got to listen to what I listen to and do what I do. But I gave y'all some suggestions that helped me change my life. And it's like, I see shit more clearer. I'm getting closer to that version of myself. I finally found my lane. I found, you know, I've been knowing my purpose, but I ain't been knowing how to how to make it work, how to, you know. So throughout my personal development, I'm getting closer. I'm getting closer. I'm getting closer. That's how you got to look at it. Every book you read, every motivational video you listen to or, or, or um, keynote, every conference you go to, it's getting you closer to that version of yourself. You know what I'm saying? Um, so let's start filling in more education than entertainment 
You know what I'm saying? Because that's what's really going to get us closer to that six or seven figure version of ourselves. Whatever success looks like to you is going to get you closer to that. You know what I'm saying? That's another 10 minute talk for you. I appreciate y'all for tapping in. You know what I'm saying? Make sure y'all like, subscribe, share, download. You know what I'm saying? Because we about to take over, man. This is Boss Moves. Let's get it.